All right, guys, uh, we've already discussed the fact that the zombie apocalypse totally fucked me up when they closed the gyms. I reached all of my strength goals. I was doing great. And, um, you know, closing the gyms, I don't know if the gyms have ever been closed in the history of mankind. And it came to the proper time when I had achieved all of my goals and I was really, really, really motivated. Needless to say, it crushed me. I'm doing the best I can, but I did succumb, like everybody else, to self-destructive behavior. Hey, hey, let me have a cheat day. Being the carb actor that I am, I had another, the cheat meal became a cheat day. And then after that, I said to my girlfriend, hey, let's have one last cheat meal and then I'm gonna have to pull my shit together. So here I am pulling myself together with 15 pounds of extra weight. So I'm thinking about how, what I can pull out of the zombie apocalypse, because there will be a time when the gyms are open again. How, what can I get as a benefit out of this? And first of all, I just want to have a better connection to you guys, okay? I want to help motivate you guys, because I'm sure if I'm going through this and I'm having problems, I'm sure a lot of you guys are having problems staying motivated as well. So I thought to myself, what can I do to uh, get actual benefit from this? And, you know, body weight exercises are great, but nothing is going to replace the 400 pounds I used to squat. Nothing's going to replace the three, uh, 300 pounds I used to squat. Nothing's going to replace the 500 pounds I used to deadlift. I mean, that's just, you need weight. And I did order a complete home gym and the zombie apocalypse is actually making that take even longer. So uh, what I'm doing is the best I can in terms of workouts. And I also want to get my priority during the zombie apocalypse, the next weeks, month, whatever, is to get very lean. So first of all, let me just go ahead and tell you guys, if I were to say that I lost 15 pounds of fat in one day, you guys would say it's bullshit. Nobody would believe it. it's just water and bloat that you lost and you're gonna gain it back. So for me to have gained 15 pounds in like three days, okay, I believe it's also a lot of just water and bloat. So we're gonna see how quickly I can lose the weight that I gained over the last few days, okay? And this also gives me the opportunity to document Dave Draper's uh, tuna and water diet. Dave Draper, back in the 70s, the Arnold era, he was right up there with some of the top world-class bodybuilders. To this day, he's very well respected, and as old as he is, he's built like a rock. So Dave Draper talks about his tuna and water diet. I've done a video on it before, but you guys are actually gonna see my results from three days of a tuna and water diet. What you basically do is you take one to one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight in six different meals a day. You drink a lot of water, you take vitamins, you take your fiber, and you do that for three days straight. After the three days, you start maybe eating some chicken, adding in some salads, adding in some cottage cheese, and you kind of slowly get out of it. But basically, this was to either get very lean for a competition, to kickstart a diet, to test your metal because it's not gonna be easy, okay? So here I am going from, you know, just a couple days after I just binged on carbohydrates, but I think I'm fat adapted again, and I'm um, going on Dave Draper's tuna water diet, okay? In terms of macros, two cans of tuna, okay, is uh, 52 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, and two grams of fat, and it's about 220 calories. So six times two cans a day for three days straight or 18 cans of tuna, which I got right here. Mustard does have calories, okay? Mustard does have a little bit of carbs, but it's negligible when you consider that I'm basically eating pure protein. So I hate tuna. I do not like tuna at all. I find tuna absolutely disgusting. So once again, this is a gut check. This is not just a matter of losing weight, better of being hungry. This is a matter of eating what I do not want to eat. I'm either gonna be starving and looking forward to eating, or I'm gonna be wishing I didn't have to eat this. So that's what the next three days are gonna be like. I'm gonna weigh myself every single day for the, uh, for the next three days, and also the morning of the fourth day, so we'll see what my weight's measurement and what my weight does. Basically, it's gonna be, like I said, two cans of tuna, 52 grams of almost pure protein, six times a day. Mustard, I'm gonna put on it just so I can get it down my throat. Little hint, tuna tastes better if you keep it in the refrigerator, so I'm putting a bunch of cans in the refrigerator tonight so they're nice and cold. Aside from that, water, fiber, the same vitamins, fish oil pills, the same with everything that I already take. This is very similar to the PSMF, protein sparing modified fasting diet that I also did a video on. I'm gonna have links to both of those videos that I did below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And um, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm just gonna freeze out, put everything in the refrigerator so it's nice and cool. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna weigh myself, we're gonna weigh me, we're going to measure my waist, and I'm gonna show you a full day of eating on 
Dave Draper's tuna and water diet. All right, stop. Okay, six o'clock, Saturday morning. So I put on the scale and I weigh 205.7. I was over 215 a couple days ago, so I already got down like 10 pounds in just a few days on a pure protein diet, 205.7. Right, measuring my waist important thing i learned this in the army when i was tape testing people if you have any shorts that have like an elastic or especially if it's tight like spandex you want to drop it down or do this naked because otherwise you might push in and create like a muffin top which will actually create you know the illusion of being fatter than you actually in life are believe me we're all fatter than we think you don't have to be fatter than you really are and i just hold it horizontal at navel level and I just flex my stomach. I don't suck it in, I don't push it out. I just flex my stomach, and it looks like we're at just under 36. What do we got here, 35 and three quarters? Um, 35 and a half. 35 and a half. Mm -hmm. All right, so day one, 35 and a half, we're starting out. All right, so um, first of all, in general, I always take the same vitamins. I got my fish oil. Joint support because I'm having issues with <laughs> ligaments, tendons, um, aspirin, uh, calcium, magnesium, vitamin C. Uh, so I take basically the same vitamins no matter what diet I'm on, okay? Obviously, the calcium, magnesium, and stuff like that are more important when you're on a low carb diet. Come here. These are also the supplements I take, also just happen, so happen to be the supplements that Dave Draper suggests that you take when you're on the uh, tuna diet. Okay, 110 calories, 26 grams of protein per can. So, to go ahead and get my, um, to go ahead and get my 50 grams of protein, I'm gonna have to take two cans at a time. Fun fact about me is I fucking hate tuna really don't like tuna. I can eat it sometimes, but uh, can't really eat a whole lot of it. I can't really eat it in uh, you know, huge amounts. Garfield loves tuna, but uh, Garfield don't have to go on a diet though because he's not fat. So anyway, awesome. Uh, five second rule. Anyway, Another thing about this, uh, so fun fact about tuna for people who hate it is, it helps, it helps to eat tuna and to get it down your throat if, uh, if you don't drain too much of the water out of it, okay? So I do drain a lot of the water out, but I don't drain all of the water out, okay? And uh, so it keeps it moist, because any food, whether you like it or not, it can be hard to get down if it's too dry. Yeah. And the only thing that's going to keep me sane over the next three days is going to be mustard. Make sure it's a mustard that doesn't have added sugar. Some people actually put sugar in their mustard. In general, this should be what people consider sometimes a free food. Now the deal is, this does have per teaspoon five calories, so there are calories in here. But the fact of the matter is, First of all, this is the only way I'm gonna actually get this down my throat. Second, um, you know, even if I put like 10, 15 calories, and if I eat this six times a day, this is like a 1300 calorie diet. Okay, that's like 1700 calories below maintenance for me. So, you know, even though I am taking in quite a bit of uh, carbs, so to speak, from, uh, from the mustard, it's not gonna be that much. So, yeah, let's get my chilled cans of tuna. And, uh, chilled cans of tuna with mustard. You're one of six for today. So, bon appetit. Mmm. Oh, man. Six in the morning on a Saturday eating tuna with mustard. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, guys, see you on the next meal. All right, meal two on Dave Draper's uh, 
tuna and water diet. You got Star Kiss Solid White Albacore, two cans. Each of these cans is about 26 grams of protein, zero carbs, um, 100 and, uh, 110 calories, and one gram of fat. So this is almost literally pure protein. Taking in two cans bumps the protein up to 52 because I always try to get 50 grams of protein per meal, six times a day. Uh, so with uh, 52 grams of protein and two grams of fat, we're looking like over 95% protein. This is quite literally a pure protein meal. And um, I'm gonna do this six meals a day, so my total macros for the whole day will be 312 grams of protein, zero carbs, 12 grams of fat, 1,320 calories. Um, I'll talk about that in the next meal about my caloric um, my caloric restriction here, but 1,320 is obviously low for anybody. So when I do throw in some mustard, like I said, you know, per teaspoon, there's going to be five grams of um, five calories. Okay, it's probably going to be like a couple grams of carbs. It doesn't really matter because, like I said, it's negligible. Uh, first of all, over the whole day, it's going to be very, you know, even considering a keto, it's going to be under like probably 30 grams of uh, carbs for the whole day, which is not a lot. And second, with a massive, massive, massive cut in calories, this is definitely going to be, uh, still going to be the caloric deficiency or deficit, no matter how much mustard I put on. So I'm not really weighing that. Usually do, but right now I'm not really weighing the mustard, I'm just pouring it on making it a little bit moist and a little bit of taste so I can have it. Because once again, I fucking hate tuna. Mmm, rummy. It is now 1800, which is 6 p.m. for people who are not European or ex-military. Um, I did not film my meal at 3 p.m., but I think you guys can trust me by now that it was two cans of albacore tuna with uh, some mustard in it, okay? Um, the difference right now in my 6 p.m. meal is I'm taking the rest of my vitamins. So I had a gram of vitamin C in the morning. This is my second gram of vitamin C. I had half of a serving, one tablet of now calcium magnesium. So now it's my second tablet. Okay, so that's a total of one gram of calcium and a half a gram of magnesium for the day. And another two fish oil tabs for a total of four fish oil tabs today. Um, as far as the uh, diet goes, I still hate tuna fish, but I do not hate it any more than I did this morning. But I really hated tuna fish this morning. So all these meals, I don't think I can possibly hate it anymore. Um, I actually am fat adapted going into this diet. My body's already into ketosis. I'm really not feeling any problems with energy. I'm not really having any problems with uh, hunger. I did get hungry for a little bit but it was just a quick thing right before this meal. And so I just took some of this. It's cheap diet soda. It's uh, 72 cents for a two liter bottle from Walmart. On the rocks, and it cured my hunger, okay? So uh, like I said, I'm actually not feeling actually very bad at all, but I do feel a lot tighter. I feel like, you know, I'm just kind of, it's, it's almost like a cleanse keto style where I'm basically taking in fiber, vitamins, water, a little bit of protein. And, uh, you know, I'm just, like I said, just clearing out my system and burning a lot of fat is actually the way that I feel right now. So, uh, once again, bon appetit. This is uh, six, nine, 12, three, six. This is uh, what, four down, 14 meals to go. So wish me luck. Okay, third day, nothing but tuna and water, six times a day, two cans. So that means that it's, uh, this is my 35th and 36th cans of tuna right now. I still hate tuna. Honestly, I'm a little bit tired right now, but my girlfriend and I were just talking about being tired. We just didn't get enough sleep in the last couple, you know, last night for some reason, whatever. So it's not like I'm actually tired because of the low calories or because of the lack of fat and carbs. My body's already been in ketosis going into this, so I actually feel great on this diet. I just fucking hate tuna. And this is like the absolute worst thing. This is like just the worst thing in the world. So um, I actually feel great, and I'm actually considering switching over to another type, you know, PSMF, protein sparing modified fasting type of diet. Um, where I basically just eat chicken all day, you know, which is something that I can handle, I can handle that a lot. Uh, but what I'm probably gonna do is at least for a couple days, I'm gonna go to my pure protein diet, which is protein all day, just like this, but I'm gonna have a meal with uh, egg whites and some whole eggs, which will be a little bit more fat. Um, 
have two meals with almonds in it. So basically it's gonna be the same thing, but there's gonna be more fat so it's sustainable for a longer period of time. And I could eat chicken all day, I love chicken. I enjoy eating chicken, I go out of my way. I pay money to eat chicken in restaurants. Whereas tuna is, um, this is probably like the worst experience of my entire life eating so, so much. And I, I feel actually as though I'm only getting, I'm almost getting desensitized to it. Actually, it's not that bad anymore. It's just very unpleasant. It's not, it's not as terrible as it used to be in the very beginning. So this is actually, you know, whatever. But like I said, so tomorrow I'm probably gonna, of course, still out whether I'm gonna eat just chicken all day or I'm gonna actually throw in some almonds and stuff. But uh, yeah, I actually feel a lot better than you would expect on 1300 calories at maintenance calories being around 2,700 to 3,000. Zero fat, almost zero carbs, almost. So I actually feel really good on the whole diet. It's just like I said, it's just well, it's anything but tuna would be not nearly as bad. All right, so bon appetit. Number 35 and 36 cans of tuna in three days. All right, day two on the tuna and water diet, uh, 24 hours in. When I started, I was 205.7. Now I am 203.9. So that's about, uh, was it 1.8 pounds? Mm -hmm. 203.9 to 205.7, I have 1.8 pounds in the first 24 hours. All right guys, last day. Started at 35 and a half inches. Yesterday I weighed in at 35 and a quarter inches. And today I've got Thirty-five inches. All right. So the last twenty-four hours have dropped a quarter of an inch. All right, guys. Let's just go ahead and do a really quick recap of my three days on Dave Draper's Tune and Water Diet. Now, first of all, I started at two hundred five point seven pounds, thirty-five and a half inch waist. Um, after day one, I was down to two hundred three point nine, which is one point eight pounds down and 35 and a quarter, which is a quarter of an inch I lost. Then I went to 201.6, which is 2.3 pounds. And I went to a 35 flat, which is another quarter of an inch around my waist. And on the last day I was down to 199.5, 34 and three quarters, which is another 2.1 pounds down and another one quarter of an inch down. So in the total over after three days on this diet, I was down 6.2 pounds and three quarters of an inch around my waist, okay? Let's talk about whether this was an actual fat loss or just a weight loss. Because every time that I do a transformation or every time I lose weight in a short amount of time, I've got the people who are telling me, oh yeah, good job, but it's just water. And the reason is the carbs, the sugar in your, in your muscles, in your body, is called stored as glycogen, one gram of glycogen holds three grams of water. So when you go ahead and you start burning off those carbs, you know, every gram that you burn off, three grams of water go away out of your body, okay? So that's why people will lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time when they go on a, a low-carb diet. Now pay attention. I have been low-carb for years, okay? Full disclosure, before I went on this diet, I had a carb meal, kind of a cheap meal. Then I had a day where I just went fucking ape shit, okay? Then after that, I had another carb meal, okay? So I was north of 215 pounds before I went on the pure protein diet for a couple days. So basically, I lost 10 pounds of water, glycogen, you know, food in my body, just all the crap I ate over those, you know, three days. It was one total day and two meals, okay, of carbs. I already lost 10 pounds before I got down to the 205.7 where I started. So this is not water weight. Okay, is it 100% fat? No, it's probably not. There is probably somehow I lost a little bit of water somewhere, but the bottom line is it's not like I carved up, ate a bunch of shit, defecated five pounds, lost 10 pounds of water, and boom, I lost a lot of weight. I had already lost 10 pounds of water on the pure protein diet going in here, okay? Now let's also talk about all the haters who are gonna say, great, but it's not sustainable. Like you go ahead and you eat a donut, and I'm gonna go ahead and blow up again like a balloon. Well, guess what? If you go on a diet like this and you plan on eating carbs, and I'm not talking about a cheat meal or a refeed, if you plan on going back to eating 10 pizzas a day, you're a fucking moron. 
you basically eat like crap, starve yourself, and then you go back and eat like crap again. You're surprised that you gain weight when you eat like crap again. I have no intention of ever eating huge amounts of carbs, okay? Like I said, maybe a cheat day here or there, maybe you know a refeed day here or there, but in general, I very rarely eat any carbs, okay? Number one. Number two, I will introduce fat into my diet. So let's talk about what happened the 24 hours after this diet, okay? Three days of, ch of uh, tuna and water and one more day, okay, on um, my pure protein diet. My pure protein diet has more fat. It's not pure protein. It's very low, very uh, low fat, zero carbs, but there is, I did take in uh, yesterday 500 calories more than I did on the tuna and water diet. So let's go ahead and check that out. This morning, I weighed in 198.3 pounds and 34 and a half inches. So that means one day on the pure protein diet, after losing all this weight on the tuna and water diet, I still lost 1.2 pounds in one day and a quarter of an inch around my waist in one day, okay? So here I am, this is me right now, very late at night. I've been drinking all day, I've been eating all day, so I'm not exactly photo shoot ready because I usually do my physique updates in the morning before I've eaten or drunk anything. and. I'm actually leaner, I feel tighter, feel harder than I did while I was on the tuna and water diet. I'm not saying that I'm losing uh, more weight than I did on the tuna and water diet, but I am saying that the pure protein diet, which is not as extreme, also works, and uh, I'm gonna stay on the pure protein diet for a while, okay? Interestingly enough, I was never hungry on the tuna and water. I just hate eating tuna. But aside from that, I was never hungry on the tuna and water diet. However, now that I actually introduced um, four whole eggs and two ounces of almonds is what I've been eating, uh, I'm actually more hungry. Okay, it's a very interesting phenomenon. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Will I ever do this diet again? No, and the reason is I fucking hate tuna. If, you ha if, if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from this video is that I personally fucking hate tuna, okay? so. First of all, I'm never gonna go on this. Will I go on another PSMF, protein sparing modified fasting diet? Maybe, okay? Honestly, I get better results from my pure protein diet. I can stay in my pure protein diet longer. I can actually build muscle on my pure protein diet, do my workouts, feel great. So that's my go-to diet for rapid fat loss. However, yes, I may consider going on a PSMF diet for a couple days or throw a PSMF day in here and there but it would be chicken all day. It would not be me just eating tuna all day because I love chicken. I eat chicken constantly. I eat chicken when I'm bulking. I eat chicken when I'm cutting. I eat chicken when I'm maintaining. I eat chicken because I like chicken. So yes, I certainly can eat chicken all day, but uh, no, I probably never will do this ever again. But um, anyway, definitely go ahead and subscribe to this channel because while I'm in quarantine with my girlfriend and, uh, our three cats and our dog and our foster dog and all the craziness in our one room studio apartment that we got because we were going to downsize because we're gonna to move to Greece, which we're not gonna do anymore because there are travel restrictions. We can't lose our, leave our house, much less leave North America. So definitely subscribe, sign up for notifications on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and sign up for notifications there because I'm gonna be showing you what we're gonna be doing here at home. Next project is build up the power rack that I got, push the trap bar to the side because I can't get any 45 pound plates. So I'm just gonna be going and doing the best I can. Ordered a 200 pound sandbag to do some lower body workouts with. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Definitely follow me on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see what the future holds and how I can come out of the zombie apocalypse, come out of quarantine, bigger, stronger, and certainly leaner than I was when I went in, okay? Every, this sucks, but everybody on the face of the earth is in the same situation, so it's really what you make out of it. See you guys in the next video.